The British actor Roger Moore passed away yesterday. He spent 12 years of his life playing the role of the one and only 007 and impersonated Bond in seven movies more often than any other actor. Although he described his acting techniques by simply saying you just have to look at the lines, say them, and don't bump into the furniture, Moore will always carry the name James Bond and is therefore James Edition's indirect namesake. Roger Moore in memory of his lifetime achievement as the world's most renowned secret agent, we have collected some of the most iconic Bond items featured in the seven movies Moore starred in. They say, there's a first for everything. In 1973, two debuts took place simultaneously. Roger Moore took over his first role as James Bond in Live and Let Die. And for the first time Bond's watch was equipped with hidden gadgets courtesy of Mastermind Q. Rolex Submariner 5513 available on James Edition. Of course Bond couldn't just have any watch. In fact, he was wearing a Rolex Submariner 5513. This particular model dates back to 1983 the year Octopussy premiered. It might not be able to serve as a circular saw, but it will definitely charm any Bond girl. You can get your own piece of Bond history by browsing a selection of Rolex Submariner 5531 here. Citroen 2CV available on James Edition eight years later in 1981 Bond's car accidentally self-destructs in the movie for your eyes only. The agent then has to resort to his current darling's bright yellow Citroen 2CV. This particular model from 1965 has just undergone a professional renovation and features an excellently restored interior and superb mechanicals. If you would prefer to get a hold of the self-destructed and completely rebuilt Lotus Esprit, take a look at this model from 1995. Upon filming his last Bond movie, a View to kill in 1985, Moore also had the pleasure to ride in a Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud 2. This model has a long-standing history within the world of James Bond. It used to be the producer's personal car which he'd bought in 1962 most. Likely to celebrate the end of post-production for the very first Bond film. Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud 2 available on James Edition This gorgeous model from 1965 comes equipped with an automatic transmission, air conditioning, power windows, rear folding picnic trays, wood dash and includes the spare tire. Its exquisite design combines old English white with a burgundy interior and would have definitely suited more as well as Bond. In a view to kill, the silver cloud can be seen being pushed into a lake. However, it's actually a 1958 Bentley S1 doubling for the roles during that specific scene. We all know that Bond wouldn't be a real secret agent if he only traveled in cars, though. Bell 206 Jet Ranger available on James Edition A model of this Bell 206 Jet Ranger can be seen in three of Moore's Bond movies Moonraker 1979, The Spy Who Loved Me 1977 and For Your Eyes Only 1981. In the last one, Bond visits his wife's grave when he is being picked up for an emergency by a Bell 206 helicopter owned and operated. The Secret Intelligence Services cover organization Universal Exports. At age 89, Roger Moore said his final goodbye, but he will never be forgotten. And just like he said being eternally known as Bond has no downside. James is the one character he will always be remembered for, by Vanessa Loeffler.